All right, let's uh, complete the square to find the vertex. So here we have our problem. I see that my lead coefficient is not a one, so I'm gonna automatically get this over the constant to the other side, just to make it easier so it's nice and clean. So we have 10x squared plus 20x equals 80. Now we're going to complete the square. Uh, actually, we need to get rid of this 10, so we're gonna factor out that 10. So I have 10 over here on the outside, because that's my GCF, and then x squared plus 2x equals 80. Now we complete the square, so I take this 2, I take 2, I divide it by 2, which is 1, and then I square it, which is then 1. So now I have to add one inside, and I have to add one over here. So I have to add one here and here, but this one has to be multiplied by 10, because of the, G's, the greatest common factor here. So we have 10 times x plus x squared plus 2x plus 1 for the complete the square equals 80 plus 1 times 10, which is 10. So we get 90. So we get 10 times x squared, and now we're just going to actually factor the trinomial there, which is pretty easy to do since we completed the square. It's this term and the sign. So we have x plus 1 quantity squared <laughs> equals 90. Let me fix that. All right. So now we need to move this over so it's in vertex form. So we have 10 times x plus 1 squared minus 90 equals 0. And there's our vertex. We have this, we take the opposite of this, which is negative 1. And then we keep this one, so that's negative 90. And there's our vertex.